New week, new wig. Got to switch it up on them, you know what I'm saying? Keep them guessing. Got to keep them guessing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayla, if this is your first time here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the brand new KKW times Mario collab. Boom, right here, I got it right here. In this collab, you get an eyeshadow palette for $45, two lip glosses for $18, and a lipstick for $20. Okay, so I've kind of ran through this eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I've been swatching it, I've been playing with it. My eyes are just drawn to these colors naturally. You guys know this, you see this in all my tutorials. I love these warm, browns, these bronze shades. So every color in here, I can definitely say I would use. So I feel like the structure of the palette, the way that the colors are put together is really pretty. You can see that it comes with a mirror, which I love. You guys already know what I'm gonna say next. I am a little disappointed that the names aren't at the bottom. Like you guys know how I feel about that. I feel like every palette should be structured like this. A mirror, the shadows, the name, boom. But the name is on the back, but still, it's just like hard you know, I'm like, wait, what color? Wait, <laughs> it's just easy when the colors are down here. So in this video, you guys are gonna see me create this look, this bold blue look using the shadow palette, and I will be using the lipstick, and I'll apply both the lip glosses. My first impressions of the PR kit are, I was just expecting a little bit more, like something just iconic, just ooh, oh, oh, oh. You know what I mean? So the palette is just very simple. It's, yeah, that's what it is, it's simple. All right, you never wanna judge a book by its cover, so let's get started with the tutorial, the review, and at the end, I'm gonna let you guys know my thoughts on the palette, and I think some of you guys will be a little surprised. Don't be alarmed, I just have a little monster growing on my face. Just gets bigger and bigger every day. I primed my skin with the number 36 ColourPop concealer. That's the same concealer I used under my eyes. I went a little bit lighter. Now I'm gonna apply Miami in the crease. It's like soft brown shade here. So I would describe this brown as like a neutral brown. It kind of looks warm in the palette, but I think that's because the palette's gray, but it's a pretty neutral brown. So like my first impression of the palette was, oh, that's like a really warm brown. But really, I think it's just because the palette is kind of making everything look a little bit warmer, I guess. So this shadow is giving me like medium pigment vibes. It's not the most pigment I've ever seen in a shadow, but it's not like the worst either. So I would say it's like maybe out of 10, maybe a seven. So typically the next color I would apply, you guys already know this would be this like really warm, rich brown, but I wanna do something a little different. I wanna try out this color. Cause I feel like I'm always like using colors like this. You guys know what it looks like. We've been there, done that. So we're gonna try this kind of dark charcoal-y, I guess it's like a charcoal-y gray brown. And this color is called Loyalty. Like I really just wanna do a bronze smokey eye with this look. Like I'm not even gonna lie, like I see all these colors and I'm like, ooh, I wanna do a bronze smokey eye. But no, we're gonna try out the blue. I like don't know how to read this. I'm like, is this Libra? Oh, Albanian, Albanian. Okay, I'm dying to put Albanian this like brown, I don't know why I couldn't read the back. I was like, wait, <laughs> but I'm dying to put this in the crease. Like I just love this color. I love warm shades in my crease. They, they look good with my skin tone. So I'm just gonna put a little bit over here. Oh yeah, that, see, boom. That even looks better. See how like that just complements my skin tone a little better? Yeah, that's what we like. Yes. Yep, number three color in the crease. We are recreating this blue look right here. I'm gonna start with a brush and then I'm gonna use my finger if I feel like I need a little bit more pigment. So I feel like I saw that in one of the tutorials. Mario was like Ooh. I was just about to say, okay, typically I use a blue base, but oh, this is pretty. It's crazy that this blue has more pigment it seems. Maybe because it's a frost, but it's definitely more pigmented than the matte shadows. I'm gonna use my Sigma E45 brush and just kind of blend this blue into the crease. Okay, so I'm really liking how the eyes are turning out. And at first this, what shade is this? No, This loyalty color was throwing me off because it's such a neutral brown. And I'm so used to those warm browns that at first I was like, ooh, I don't know. But I really like how the colors are complementing one another. Like it looks cute. Next, I'm gonna line the bottom of my lash line with this Urban Decay Sabbath eyeliner. 
It looks black, but it's like a navy blue. I'm gonna apply Libra on the inside of my lower lid and Loyalty on the outside. That way it looks like it's fading from blue to kind of like a charcoal color. I'm gonna add a little bit with my finger. Oh wow. Oh wow, look at the difference. There's a little bit of fallout, but I really like this blue color. My hair is so wild right now, it's like it cannot be tamed. Next, I'm gonna line my eyes with the Shady Liner from Dosa Colors. This is like my favorite black cream liner. It's so bomb, it's so good. I'm not gonna wing my liner because, I don't know, I really just want, am I gonna wing my liner? No, not gonna wing my liner. I'm finishing off the eyes with my Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. This color is baddest black and it's the darkest black. I'm gonna reuse my Lily Lashes and Mykonos because we want drama. I'm gonna highlight my skin with the KKW Bronze Highlight. This is actually one of my go-to highlights. I like it a lot, it's so pretty. I feel like this was like made for my skin tone, you know? I tried to clean off the fallout I had and it like, I guess it turned like a light blue color right there. <laughs> it's just, it's there. Now that's what you call fallout, folks. Definitely put your foundation on last so you don't look like this. I'm adding a little bit of MAC Sweetest Cocoa Blush just to give me a little bit of a contour on the cheeks. I'm gonna try on the lipstick with both glosses so you guys can kind of see both. Um, they are more on the pink tone, so I'm curious how they're gonna look on, on the lips. This is my go-to MAC Cork Lip Liner. This is Classic K Lipstick, the only lipstick. Not bad, not too shabby. I'm gonna top it with Super Nude Lip Gloss. Mm, that's nice. What's going on with my hair? That's what happens when you get new hair. It'd be acting all crazy. Okay, so I reapplied Classic K and now I'm gonna apply Juicy on top. This is a little bit more on the pink side. Oh, this is cute. I like the nude, the Super Nude more with this look, but I'm actually surprised that the lip colors, I, I was certain, let me tell you, okay, when I swatched everything, I was certain that everything was gonna be too pink. Like I already knew in my mind, I was like, this is gonna be too pink, I already know it, but I really like it. So this is the finished look. I have to say I'm very impressed with the pigment of this blue. The only thing I didn't like is that it did fall, like it fell out like right here. That's why it looks a little kind of funky right here. Um, I had to wipe it away and it kind of just stuck a little bit. So there was a little bit of fallout with the shadows, but overall I think that the palette's beautiful. I'm impressed with this blue shadow. Like I keep looking at myself in the monitor like, oh wow, like it's, it's so much more pigmented than I thought, than I expected. Yeah, I like it. The lipsticks look great. I I usually do like a warmer nude. That's usually what kind of draws my attention, but this looks really nice. It looks really pretty. I'm, I'm a sucker for nudes. You guys know this, like I love nude lipstick. Like I could wear nudes every day and I would just be satisfied. Um, the only, I guess, bad thing I would have to say about the palette is the fallout one and the packaging. The packaging doesn't speak to me. It's it's just kind of like, wah, wah. But you know, I feel like maybe Mario and Kim are kind of minimalist and they like just this kind of sleek look. But, well, I mean, I like a sleek look too. It's just, I don't know, it's not iconic. You know, like I don't look at the packaging and think like, ooh, that packaging is amazing. The product's good, the packaging isn't. And I would have liked to see the eyeshadow names on the inside here. But other than that, I feel like the the colors look good. I, I, I just can't stop looking at myself. <laughs> Like this blue is super pigmented. It looks really good. Um, I have no complaints, you know, about this look. Like, ooh. And I got my dark hair bag, ooh. Let me know what you think about these colors. Comment below, subscribe to my channel, and last but not least, Shred and Slay. New week, new wig. Hmm. Okay, so I'm really, what's going on here? What's going on here? There it is, there she is. Don't be alarmed. Just a little monster going on my face, that's all. Oh, oh. Hide the... Ooh, this new hair just doesn't even want to cooperate, huh? It's a little too clean, that's what it is. This hair is a little too clean.